We got maybe 20 minutes before it starts raining on us. Guys, we got a big storm up over there and behind these trees there are some big thunderheads that are moving in this way. Anyways, welcome back to another episode of Wisconsin Fisherman. My name's Kyle, this is Sydney. Today we are, um, it's gonna sound weird, but we're going after some bluegill, but not just bluegills. We're going after some bluegills. Now guys, we're in 29 feet of water and there's some fish cribs down there. I'm gonna drop the camera down, show you what a fish crib is, and see the fish that are on it. So, let's do that quick, and then let's get fishing. All right, guys, so as you see a little log on the left there, that is part of the fish crib. As the camera turns, you can see the whole log cabin looking fish crib and uh, all the bluegill all over top of it. So that's uh, what we're after, and try to get some of them guys. For today's special bait, guys, we have leeches, which this one's all balled up right now, and a jig. This is an eighth ounce, just a purple jig that's been bent back and forth uh, probably a hundred times, and they hold up. But let's get this guy wrapped around here. Sydney's gonna drop her down and just hammer one of them bluegill instantly. And we're only gonna need maybe 10, maybe eight bluegill. We're gonna go home, we're gonna eat them, because we're starving. So right off the bat, guys, Sydney hooks up with just a monster bluegill. Um, pretty excited about this. The audio was just very, very bad. So um, cut the audio out, give you a little bit of voice over the rest of the video. I promise is amazing. So hope you guys enjoy. Had one on. Oh. Oh, he took me into the crib and he got off. Darn it. Got me caught in that log cabin down there. Oh, it is really coming down over there. That's crazy. There's a big fish hanging out off the cribs. I see it on the left side. There you go. What do you got? Is that him? You need the net? No. Is that our big bluegill we're after? Yeah, it is. Oh, swing it, swing it, swing it. You. Yeah. All right, look at that. That's what happens when you fish 30 foot of water for bluegills. Monsters. Tank. It's August 1st today. And um, well, what happens is the fish, obviously they go to the fish cribs, but thing about where we're at is in that 30 foot of water, then fish crib, the fish cribs literally are probably six feet tall. They're huge. And from, you know, that puts it at 22, 24 feet. So, and then the other fish are like hanging out at like 20 feet mark. So realistically there's fish almost from like 15 feet all the way to the bottom. Did you, did you just see that big fish jump behind me? That was pretty neat. <laughs> Hopefully you got that. I think, I think, did we get that? Yeah, yeah, got that. Um, so we're just sitting here, a little bit of breeze coming in, probably gonna get rained on. We got three big old blue in the live well already. Couple more left. We're gonna get home, flay them up and eat. So basically try to find some deeper structure um, this time of year and you're probably gonna find some bigger bluegills you know you'll have the bluegills that hang around your dock and stuff that are the smaller ones maybe there's a couple big ones but if you really get out to that deeper water um, you're gonna find some sizable fish and make some good fish fries out of it all right so we got oh ooh, here's a nice one. Oh, this guy's got some shoulders oh yes 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 yeah oh swing there we go. Well, look at that. Guys, look at that bluegill. Just a good fish. Look at that. Woo! Oh, I just missed one. It was there, and then it was like, I'm gone. Kind of pulling it away, you know, like when you do ice, ice fishing. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, oh yeah, decent. Yeah, he's, this one will go back. We'll catch a little bit bigger guy. It's good luck to let a few fish go. 
Can't have them all. That's why we let a lot of, lot of, lot, let a lot of fish go. <laughs> Can't talk. Let a lot of, let a lot of fish go. <laughs> gnarly clouds out, out there. Yeah, it is crazy. How's you feel? Small. Ooh. Yeah, it's a small one. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. That's a nice one. It is. To get so we're just gonna eat this guy. This is a good one. This is a good one. Oh, it's just a rock bass. Well, you know what they say when you catch a rock bass? Move. Who says that? Mm. Somebody we know says that. We could eat those too, but a little bit bigger ones we'll eat. Like nice, good rock bass. Your dad said that. That's what it was. Jeff. Jeff. Yep. Neighbor Jeff says, start catching rock bass. Move. There's one. Another rocky Euro Coco. Nah. We'll catch just a couple more bluegill and be done. Done skis. Oh. There we go. There's a plate. Nice. This guy's big, but he doesn't have much meat. Like, I don't know. He seems round, just not thick. But we'll eat him. Look at that. Pretty fish. We're gonna eat you. That one seems big. A nice big rock bass. We'll keep that one. That's a nice one. Yeah, you want to fillet him up? It's just like a bluegill, for sure. That's bigger than all the ones I've caught. Uh, yeah. I got one. Oh, I lost him. Okay. Yeah. Too much of him. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five. Five or six in there. Just uno mas, and then we gotta go. Cause it's gonna look loose. <sighs> Did you hear that hook set? I was like, <laughs> ooh, big Rocky. There we go, we can clean him. That's a nice one. That might be like a state record. Not even close. No, it's like 11, 11 inches. Remember the ones that, um, Eric and Taro were catching down on in Oshkosh or wherever they were. Those were big oh, ones. Yeah. One, two, three. Okay, we're good. Let's go home. Um, check this out. Got a couple big rock bass in there. Some decent bluegills. Um, you know, we caught a few right off the bat there. Nice fish. And uh, I keep I keep this in there just because. But, um, hooked up! Is it, it's keeper? It's keeper. Oh, jeez, I got a fish too. Here, reel this one in. <laughs> Doubled up! Oh, this one feels nice. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Oh, okay. <laughs> Doubled up rock bass. That We're heading out. Go. We're going back home. So, stay tuned so we can get back home. We're gonna boogie out of here. All right guys, we're heading out. Uh, we're gonna get back to the house, fillet these fish up, and uh, get them cooking. I'll show you a pretty good way that I like to cook bluegill, and uh, I'll link a video below in the description on how to clean them, because I have a video from like five years ago on how to clean bluegill. So, or crappie, perch, same thing. Um, yeah, let's look at that storm over there. Well, we still have to grab the bite of ice cream. 
pickle thing ice cream here. And we're on the road, we're only about 10 minutes from home. And uh, we got off the water at about the perfect time because it's gonna let loose any, any minute. Slapping out slabs of meat. Pull out the center bones. Slab of meat. Alright guys, well, I don't have really anything fancy about how I do this. Sometimes I just go right from, you know, fish to a shore lunch and then to the pan. But today we're just throwing a little bit of egg batter in first. Then the, you know, then that, or egg, beaten egg. There's three eggs in here. Then we got batter and then we're going to fry it up. Gives it a little more, just more texture, more something to bite on, you could say. But, uh, you know, here's all the fish we caught. We got you know some nice fillets here. That's probably uh, that big rock bass or something there. And yeah, there's our meat. So let's uh, dip some in. This is the uh, messy part. Smells good, don't it? Yes, it smells really good. Look at all this fish, nice and crispy. I don't know what happens to this one, this one's kind of fell apart. A couple more in quick. About using eggs, I've, I've used eggs many times before, but as your batter gets really foamy like that, so if you're cooking lots of fish, it's kind of hard. You might have to change your oil out depending on how much you're cooking. <clears throat> Let's give one of these bad boys a try. Woo, look at that. Mmm. And the nice body, like the belly meats, like the crispy part. Hello. Huh? A little hot. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Very fun. Like flaky. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Feels like you're like this close. Because I am this close. Okay. Yeah. Like, that's good. Back here. Like this a little more. Okay. Here, let's do this under here. Get the number. You gotta get it cracked open. <sighs> Tap the focus button up top. See, this one even has that little pepper spot in it. That's okay, we eat those. Doesn't have a whole bunch of them, but that won't hurt you. It's oh, hot. It's oh, really hot. <laughs> Wait, I got it open. <laughs> well, guys, um, hope you enjoyed that uh, little catch and cook there. Um, gonna start posting a couple more videos here and there, so stay tuned. Um, also, I want to do like uh, a trout video again. And try not to fall off a pine tree if you've seen that one. But I um, want to get out there, want to catch some trout, and then I want to do a catch and cook out in the woods, with, like where I'm at, fishing for the trout. I want to cook them right there. So that's something that I got in the works that's going to be coming out. And then uh, leave me some ideas in the comments. Just tell me what you guys want to see, and I'll do them to the best of whatever I can do. So thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.